Hey everyone, I've gone ahead and done that, so make out red and black wires, they're just soldered onto two tender pads underneath them, so it's really, really good of them to have done that on the PCB layout, so that powers the device, these guys are there, the resistors there, I've gone and put, this is like a fiberglass heat shield for cables, and I've cut this and I've stood it up and glued it onto the board to give the to lift them off that wooden board just to give it a bit of insulation off the board, airflow around it, gone and mounted this on the end, neatened up the wires. Now just gonna have a quick look at power dissipation. So real simple sort of calculations. So full voltage, fully discharged voltage. So, we are going to look at our current through the resistors. It's current equals voltage resistance, 4.2 volts, over our 3 by 1.2 resistors. So that's 3R6, three, uh, 3.6 ohms. 4.2 divided by our 3.6 ohms, 1.67 volts. Huh? 1.67 volts, and our power is equal to Vi. Our voltage is. Why am I getting all these numbers wrong? 4.2 times that by 4.2. Two equals 4.9 watts. So, 5 watts, and we've got 15 watts sort of, of resistors, so that's that's good. Alright, so this one, same again, voltage is 3, 0 volts over our 3R6, so 3 divided by 3.6, Eight thirty milliamps power times that by three two point five watts. So these won't actually be producing too much heat. These five watt resistors, ceramic resistors, will be easily fine with that. Um, so I might not even bother with a fan on these. Um, you could go, if you want to speed the process up, 4.2 volts. Um, but if you had two in series, so that's 2.4 ohms. So 4.2 volts, 2.4 ohms. 4.2 divided by 2.4 4.2 divided by 2.4 ohms 1.75 volts 1.75 volt amps <laughs> silly me and our power is multiply that by 4.2 7.35 watts and at 3 volts three divided by 2.4 1.25 amps power 3 3.75 watts So, with 3 in series, we're getting just under 5 watts. With 2 in series, we got 7.35 watts, just under 2 amps, so like you can get an average of say, so you can, you can kind of compare it at 1.5 amps. The average current will be lower than that. It's just a ballpark sort of figure. 
So, I mean, like, it's not a high discharge current, even if I go two in series. These are rated at three amps. Uh, laws of China divided by two. So that gets us in this kind of range. Yeah, I'd have to, you'd have to sort of have a look at your MOSFET and make sure your MOSFET isn't getting too warm. So, these are my options. I uh, hope this video helps you. I uh, hope this encourages you to build your own. Like, these, these are super simple. Like, everything is hot glued down. Hot, hot glue is good. Like, you get, you get, wait till it's nice and hot. And these things aren't going anywhere. They're super simple to make. Basic soldering skills on them. And I mean like. These are a couple of bucks for the 10. I think these were like 40 odd cents a piece. In a 10 quantity. So 4 bucks. That's like 4 dollars or something. These are 5 bucks or so each Australian. So you can get something like this for like 30 bucks. So, and you've got 10 charges, 4 discharges, so you can charge 5, you can probably end up charging 6 up at once, and then charge them because you'll have some that won't, that will be bad, so you won't charge them. So, it's, it's, it's kind of a good one. You wouldn't want any more discharges with this, with only 10 charges, so... I'd pray I'll fi fix these ones up. I've got more boards coming. Hope this helps. Hope you take something away from it. Uh, and give it a go at home. Alright, see you next time.